A recent rumor suggested that Apple is planning to create a Netflix-style gaming subscription service. Users would basically pay a monthly fee to gain access to a selection of game titles, most likely iOS games. Now why would Apple want to do that? iOS gaming is already extremely profitable. Neil Campling of Mirabot Securities noted that 82% of revenues from Apple's App Store come from gaming, making Apple one of the biggest gaming companies in the world, even though the company doesn't actually make any games. But if they don't make any games, where does the revenue come from? Apple takes a 30% cut from every digital product sold on the App Store, which includes game sales and in-app purchases. According to a report from Business Insider, Fortnite made over $455 million on just Apple devices in 2018, even though it's free to play. The revenue was made solely from in-app purchases, which ultimately means that Apple made around $316 million with their 30% cut. So if iOS gaming is so hugely successful, why in the world would Apple want to create a gaming subscription service, especially if there are so many games available to play for free? We'll answer that in just a moment, but let's first talk about the two general types of gaming subscription services we have today. First, there are the subscription services where you pay a monthly fee and you gain instant access to play a variety of games without having to purchase them, like Xbox One Pass and EA Access. Then there are the more expensive cloud gaming services that allow you to do the same thing, except without requiring you to own a powerful console. The games are actually powered by rendering servers which communicate gameplay data to and from your device using an internet connection. A couple of examples are PlayStation Now, Gamefly, and Nvidia GeForce Now, which we tried out for ourselves. We were able to play Overwatch at over 200 frames per second using nothing but a 12-inch Retina MacBook. The thing about Apple creating a gaming subscription service is that the hardware is already there. Apple's latest iPhones and iPad Pro are packing some of the most powerful mobile processors ever made, so there's obviously no need for a powerful server to render games. Apple's rumored gaming subscription service will most likely give subscribers access to a bunch of paid games on the App Store, but why would they need to do this if they're making so much revenue from free-to-play games? Well, because the App Store is flooded with so many great free games, there's little reason to buy a high-quality paid game. Because of that, it's a lot harder for a game developer to invest a lot more time and money to create a great game that actually takes advantage of Apple's powerful processing performance. And there lies the issue. Apple's iPhone and iPad hardware is way ahead of almost all the games on the App Store. There's simply not enough incentive for a game developer to put extra money and time into a high-quality game that can really put Apple's hardware to the test. Especially if they can go the free-to-play route and make a subpar quality game that can easily rake in tons of cash without as much investment. A gaming subscription service would incentivize and encourage game developers to create more power-demanding games, which would shine a light on the iPhone and iPad Pro's ability to really become a gaming console on its own, a point Apple has been trying to make with its marketing for years. On top of that, if developers are given more of an incentive to make higher quality games, this could impact the Apple TV, where better iOS games could also be played, further incentivizing the creation of better quality games and possibly increasing the Apple TV's gaming market. Apple's rumored gaming subscription service could also incentivize free-to-play games by giving a certain amount of in-game currency every month or offering discounts on purchases of digital currency. But that's all up to Apple, assuming these rumors are even true. There have also been rumors of Google working on an equivalent gaming subscription as well. So if all these rumors come to life, the way we buy and use apps and games on mobile devices will be changed forever. Whatever happens, we'll be right here reporting on it. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.